Why? Why you want to pick me to talk about that first? Like, I can't wait last time I did a relationship. So don't worry, just push on through. Keep it in real. Gotta big up all my people who've been working on the future, though they know they gotta struggle. Keep it in real. To all my homies working on the 9 to 5 and doing right to keep themselves up out of trouble. Keep it in real. Although sometimes I know it seems impossible, there ain't no need in drowning in your sorrow. Keep it in real. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Green Talk with. Corey, you see a boy who is not your boy? Janae. Your boy I'm from. And Jessica. So today's topic, we are going to talk about how long is are you going to wait before you can start a relationship before your last relationship. Before we get started, yes we win. The same clothes, deal with it. We are filming two videos in one day. Yeah. We take in front before anybody out of time and comedy yeah. comments and like Hey, you the same clothes on last week? Yes. Yeah. Are we looking good too? So that's the important. I know, let's know why it's only a boy who is not only a boy who's so. <laughs> <laughs> I think there is not necessarily a fixed time. I think the people who think about that time the most are the people who are not moving on. For instance, if I break up with my boyfriend, I move on and he don't move on, he will possibly find that I move on too fast. Or you yeah, probably right? have that person in the closet. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. However, so that's, that's from a everybody else point of view, right? Yeah. Personally, if this was a serious relationship, you know, you really had serious feelings for this person, if you were heartbroken, if, you know, it wasn't healthy, if the breakup was hard, those kind of instances, give yourself time. I don't know how to say how much time, um, but you have to be real honest with yourself at this point in your life and be like this really took a chunk out of me and I need to refill that chunk because I can't be giving myself to our next person with a whole chunk of me missing than not fair to the next person because the next person hopefully is going to be bringing 100% of themselves right so this is where you really have to be honest with yourself and you see rebounding I don't want to knock it but it honestly is not fair to the next person. Now, if you are going... Unless you let the person really know there's a rebound. Unless you tell the person there's a rebound. Exactly. Yes. You know, there. some people willing to be a rebound. Yes. So if you're having that relationship for a different reason and is a rebound and everybody is aware that this is the situation, you do your thing is a big person, right? But if the person is not aware that they're a rebound, and you really just go to your person. I think you cause more harm to yourself and then you end up hurting somebody in innocent. Especially with somebody who had like you for a while exactly. and was expressing their feelings, saying so exactly. they're taking them on. Yeah. And they just use it as the opportune time to get this person up lie because you know they care about it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. on the other hand though, if you know that you checked out of your relationship long time and it's just a matter of <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just a matter of or they finally make it official. That's all they're they're done. All the way, yeah. And you know it in yourself. I don't check out of this long time. I don't build back up my self confidence. And you're ready for it. <laughs> Listen, sis, bro, fix up. If you know that you have been checked out for a long time and you're ready to move on, don't let nobody keep it back because yeah. they find nada too fast. Agreed. You have to live your own life. Yeah. Right? If you have somebody that is worthwhile, and I'm not talking about waste of time. Really Smile, today. bitch! <laughs> Relationships that will bring forth good fruit. Mm. If you know that it's time to move on and you find somebody, where you're waiting on just because society yeah. or the people around you find it too fast, that's not their relationship. They're too fast. Press your gas, press your gas. Yeah. So I will say, well, what you talking about here? Uh, hitting me because. Oh, cool. That's why I bring it up. Bridge! No, it's hitting me because. Oh, Lord, he said the same thing. <laughs> 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 Because we're saying with society and so mm -hmm. that is what affected me too with a relationship with that could have been blossoming all now. Mm -hmm. But oh I let I let I let society get the better of me. So that paint our flower in the sunny paint in the dark. Yeah, but I'm cool. What's this happening? <laughs> <laughs> like I try paint now and what is happening? Because that's why I'm not full service I recently come out of a relationship and I didn't want to, you know, make anybody feel like if I didn't love the person that I moved on so quickly. So 
or do I like the person I could have seen myself building something very far to this day with the person but I told the person well but the only thing that made it complicated because we were having sex so because we were having sex or we were not together hmm. but we was going to lead to being together and See I was saying no, well nah yeah and I was saying well I don't want to make it seem like that but she was seeing it as me just using her so that why I bring it up in the fact so she seen it as I'm being I'm using her so she's like, she don't want this again, and she just left, and that that it hit me. I get broken twice because I get my heart broken <laughs> once with the, with, with the relationship. I don't want to make it seem as people thinking, well, he didn't really love that person. He just went and go on with somebody else. So so I, I take my time. I tell you, well, I ain't wanna rush her. Or you bring your side chick to the front. Yeah. So I just Whoa. waited. So I waited. <laughs> I wanted to wait, but she didn't want to wait. So she find out she been a rebound as well as you were saying yeah. before. And and that was that. Live your best life out here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it happened it have no time. It yeah. have no time. It have no time. Once you actually find somebody that I know you mesh and connect off the bat. Worth right. Yeah, you you because you want you wanna make yourself happy at the end of the day. Yeah. It's a true. love at first sight. <laughs> you wanna make yourself happy. Yeah. So you you listen to what society is saying, it making sense. And that you lost enough. Yeah, you lost enough. So that might input it. I honestly don't think that there's a time stamp on love. Um, if you meet somebody and that person makes you happy and fulfills everything that you need, I think you should put a time stamp on it. Um, there are some people, as just as I say, that fits to be with themselves. If you know that you just came out of a relationship and you are hurt or a piece of you is missing or you need to take a little bit of time to find yourself or whatever. Or you ain't really figure out your life and what Yourself, you want to do yeah, yet yeah, yeah, and you yeah. want to go and disturb people child spirit oh, oh. Put, oh. Oh. put the arrow uh, <laughs> into my head and, my and head you up. want to disturb <laughs> people child spirit but you ain't figure out your life yet and then in two tools you change it wrong right, and you yeah. decide there's no way you really want right, you got, it's uh, you you can pull a record wrong <laughs> oh my god! I just oh felt god. that and oh like god. what you do to my friend and I don't oh, like it. I don't like you. Right. Oh my god! Oh, wow, I don't fix that now. <laughs> But yes, I feel like if you know mentally that this is not something that you want or something that you are willing wow. to, to build or see blossom or whatever it is, just don't do it. Don't rush yourself into a relationship because not only are you hurting yourself in the long run, but you're hurting the person that you're putting in the situation. And sometimes when you hurt that person, it's, it's like no going back there. So even if you feel like, Oh God, I ran myself and I wasn't ready. Don't feel that you can go back to this person afterwards because trust me, it's not going to work out. That Leave that them person. alone! Leave people in business alone! I'm sorry. 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 i um, I totally agree with what was said coming down the line. Um, it is really based on self, how you feel mentally, um, where you want to be in the future. Not only present, a lot of people just think about the now and it doesn't really think about the longevity mm -hmm. of things. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Just, just think to yourself if you're mentally ready, physically, and these things really, if you're really ready to open up to this person. Because you might be telling yourself that you just like the person on the surface, but when the person is trying to open up to you, you're still closed. Because you're thinking to yourself, God, am I just open up to this person? You'll hurt me again. And so as as rightfully as what Jessic you said, uh, make sure and fill that, that gap, that void that you have, that empty bottle inside of you. Make sure and fill it with something. Not bitterness. Please, but, not bitterness. <laughs> but, Good point. Right. But, fill it, but fill it with something. Yeah, and that's like I have a lot of bitter people walking around. For Very. God alone knows what, for something that somebody do about 10 years, 12 years ago, who done married, had children, picket fence, barbecue in any back, and you better eat in a box <laughs> and get <laughs> God. Move on. Understand? <laughs> Love life, enjoy it, do your thing. It has somebody out there for you. No matter how moldy the cheese, 
Use a bread, cool it. <laughs> Blue cheese is very moldy and old, but it is very expensive. Yeah. <laughs> so, so have come a on. Don't be a massive cheddar, be a blue cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's that's my business. <laughs> Um, this was another episode of Real, Real Talk. Talk. Um, it's your boy Corey, who is not your boy. Jenny. Your boy from. And Jessica. Bye. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah,